never been so excited about a cardboard box. All right, so today we're going to be talking about a very exciting new release from Benefit. This is the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. The Benefit Hula Bronzer has been like a cult favorite for years. This is a lot of people's holy grail bronzer. This product has never worked on my skin tone. It's just been much too dark and it just looks like way too much orange intense. So when I saw, thanks to you guys who tagged me on Instagram 5,000 times when you saw this coming out. So when I saw that they came out with a lighter shade, I had a moment. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how it applies on my face. I actually found a couple very affordable dupe options. And then I'm also gonna be swatching it compared to some other popular bronzers and just telling you my thoughts if I think this is worth it. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Today, I'm actually filming two videos. I'm filming Foundation Friday video as well. So if you want to see the rest of my face makeup and everything, that will be in Friday's video. Let's jump in. I'm going to start out with reading some of the claims and price and all that from Ulta's website. So this product retails for $29 and you get 0.28 ounces of product. It's actually a bit less than most other bronzers I have right here at least. So in the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, you get 0.38 ounces of product. In the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, you get 0.35. And in the Body Shop Bronzer, which is one of my favorites, you get 0.3 three nine ounces of product. It's a bronzer, so the claims are minimal, but it just says perfect for fair complexions or for use as an all over finishing powder. So even if you do have a little bit darker of a complexion than I do, you could use this as an all over powder, it says. Instantly warms your complexion, leaving you with a healthy, believable glow. Blends smoothly and seamlessly, and you do get a brush with both the Benefit Hula Light and the normal one. So as far as packaging, I feel like I'm kind of on an island here. Is that an, I don't think that's an analogy. I might be the minority here, but I actually don't like the packaging of the Benefit Hula bronzers. For 29 bucks, I think it's pretty cheap. This is a cardboard box. And the other thing that bothers me about this is that when I open and close it, it kind of gets caught on the ledge here. So you kind of have to pry it open a little bit and then push it down. That might just be my box. Maybe I got a little bit of a defective one because this one, closes a lot easier. It does have a magnet, so it'll close shut. So you don't have to worry about the box coming open or anything. So I'm gonna go into the application so you can see me actually putting this on and how it looks on my skin, how it blends out, all that. But the shade of this is kind of interesting. It almost, to me, looks like a dark face powder. It's not super warm, it's not super cool. I would say this is very neutral. It almost has like a tan kind of look to it. So let's go to the application and then I'm gonna show you guys swatches of the two dupes that I found and also compare them to other bronzers. So on on either side of my face, I'm gonna use different brushes. On one side, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contour brush or whatever this is called, angled brush, and then my Sigma F15 on the other. This is a duo fiber brush and it applies bronzer really nicely. Kind of gives like an airbrush look to it and I've been using this a lot lately. So I do have powder on top of my foundation right now, which helps to kind of blend out any products that you put on top of it. So we should be good to go as far as not having the product stick or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go in. blending out really nicely. It's kind of just adding a bit more warmth to my face without looking orangey or red or anything like that. I actually prefer my bronzers to have more of a red tone to them. I like the way that that brush just applied it. So let's try the duo fiber brush on the other side and see if there's a difference. I feel like I'm getting much lighter color payoff on this side. I'm gonna go in with a bit more product. Yeah, I think I definitely like how it applies with the Wet n Wild brush better, but let's try the temples. I typically only bring up my bronzer to my temples if I need to warm up my face, like if my foundation is looking a bit light or if it's a really light bronzer like this is. I think it blends out really easily. I like how you don't have to really work a whole lot. All right, so we are back. The rest of my makeup is on. If you wanna know what I used on the rest of my face, everything's listed down below in the description box along with my t-shirt, watch, jewelry, everything. I'm gonna be swatching both of these next to each other and then telling you guys my two affordable dupes that I found. And then the rest of the bronzers just so you can and kind of see shade comparisons. So I can't hold my mic at the same time as doing this, so hopefully the sound is okay. So this first swatch is the Hula Light on the left-hand side compared to the normal Hula bronzer. Here's what they look like side by side in the packaging. Next swatch over right here is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is actually a face powder in the shade 310. I think this is the closest drugstore alternative to this that I found. It technically is a face powder, you can use it as a bronzer. Here's them side by side in the pan. 
So another product which is pretty dang close is this palette, this shade right here from the Beauty Treats Contour Palette. You can get this from iKate House, it's super affordable. I also did try the shade below it, which looks pretty close as well. I ended up swatching both shades in that palette I just talked about. This is the lighter one, this is the one that's a tiny bit darker. I think you could go with either of these or even mix the two or just go with whichever one you think is good. I mean, if you're gonna have the palette, you have both options. So now I'm just gonna swatch a few other bronzers. These aren't dupes, these are just so you can see shade comparisons between this in the Hula Light Bronzer. So let's start off with the Physicians Formula City Glow Bronzer. This is in the shade Paris. I usually either mix these two shades or just go in with this top one depending on what I'm feeling, but definitely we're just gonna swatch this top shade right here. So this one is a bit warmer and it does have a little bit of a glow to it. This one isn't quite as matte as the other products. Next we're gonna do the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the light shade. So again, here's the Hula Light. This one is actually pretty close. When I apply this one to my face, it pulls very orange versus the Hula Light Bronzer, which on my skin doesn't pull as orange. Next up is the Body Shop Bronzer in the shade 01 Light. And this used to be one of my favorite bronzers. I haven't used this in a while. Here it is right here. It's definitely a bit more red toned, which is probably why I like it. That's usually what I'm drawn to. And then the last swatch I'm gonna do is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is personally not one that I reach for a whole lot, but I know this is a lot of people's favorites, so I wanted to swatch this one. Here's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer right here. All right, all right so those are all the swatches. Do I think this is worth it for 29 bucks? I think that the formula of this is really nice, blends out very effortlessly. If you like the whole vibe of this, the packaging, and you just kind of want to splurge on a high-end product, I do think that this is really nice for more fair complexions. I think this could work for one shade darker of a skin tone than I am. If you're any more than that, this would probably be more of a face powder for you. Every bronzer pulls differently depending on your undertone and everything. For example, I know a lot of people love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. For me, this one just looks straight up orange on my skin for whatever reason. So with any of these products, you'll probably just have to try it out for yourself and see how it looks on your skin tone. Since both of these are super affordable and they're pretty dang close to the Hula Light Bronzer, if you wanted to save 20 bucks, I think you could definitely get away with these. And the bonus to getting this one is that you obviously get 10 shades in here. I've actually used these for eyeshadows and they work totally fine for eyeshadows. But would I use this again? Absolutely. I like how it looks. I think it looks like a really natural kind of bronze. It doesn't look like too much. So if you're a similar skin tone to me and that's the look you're going for, you might like this guy. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Whoa, just totally spaced out.